Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to create a portable version of Windows 10 or 11. It's also called Windows to Go. Nice thing about this is, rather than separating a partition on your hard drive, you can actually have a install of Windows 10 or 11 on a thumb drive that you can use as you need to or bring it with you or take it somewhere else, etc. Kind of neat. Easy to do. It takes some time to burn, but the rest of it's simple. Let's walk you through it. Keep an eye out for the top right corner is an I here you can click that to get to this page or scroll down and look for the video description to get the link here because you're gonna need to download Rufus that's how we're gonna do it so when you get to major geeks I recommend the portable it's real easy to use you just delete it when you're done so just click download portable and then you're gonna need to download a Windows 11 ISO if you don't have one yet or Windows 10 so I provide a link to the Windows 11 ISO page since that's the newest release and you scroll down right here to where you see ISO, Windows 11, click download, and pick your language, confirm, and you're off to the races. And then wait for Windows to download. That's around 5 gigs. All right, now we want to plug in the thumb drive. I have it in my hand. I'm going to plug that in right now. There it goes. There we are. So that's set. Let's start Rufus. Here it is right here. You might want to put Rufus in its own folder or somewhere where you can get at it because what it's going to do is going to create an INI file and then a folder with a log file in it. So once I run this, you will see the INI pop up right there and in a little bit a folder will appear. So it's a little harder to delete if it's in a folder with a bunch of other files. That's all. Not a big deal. All right, there it is. Here's Rufus. As you can see, in just a minute there's going to be a new feature right here and I'll show you after we select the ISO so let's do select finds your ISO again we're going to use Windows 11 right here I'll just double click it and there's the new section image option now it's worth mentioning you can also burn your ISOs from Microsoft to a thumb drive for future use and that includes as you can see you have TPM secure boot or no TPM and no secure boot. So Rufus is able to bypass those TPM and secure boot requirements for you. But for what we're doing, we're doing Windows to go. So click that. You shouldn't need to change anything. It will change your volume label, which is the name of your thumb drive, to something similar to this. You can call it, I don't know anything you want really. Now let's try Windows, I get it, 11 to go. Everything else should be okay, NTFS. These are gonna vary from computer to computer. That's auto-selected. Partition scheme GPT should work. That should be it. You shouldn't have to do anything. That's the beauty of this whole process. So once we've gotten down to there, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click Start. And it's gonna ask you what version of Windows to install. You might know this, you might not. So if you don't know, Typically home, education, or pro. The majority of us will do home or pro. The geeky guys will get pro because they want to use some of the pro features, group policy or stuff like that. If you don't know which one you need, just go ahead and install home. It works for the majority of people. There you go. There's okay. And now you get the warning. Everything on your thumb drive will be wiped out. Again, it's got to be 64 gigs or bigger. We click OK. And you saw it said deleting the partition creating the file system. It's going to burn all the files and folders and this is where you got some time to kill. So I had a nice cup of coffee while I was doing this and it still wasn't done. You'll see the progress bar keeping you posted on what's going on but it's going to go through multiple steps. So there's the applying Windows image. I think there's another step after this one. So figure about, I don't know, probably an hour ballpark because no matter how fast your computer is unless you have an SSD thumb drive, the write times on most thumb drives aren't that fast. So that's probably one of the bigger slowdowns in this process, as far as I know. But there you go. So you just wait till that's done. And when it's finished, you can close out Rufus, close all your windows out, and leave your thumb drive in. It should boot by default on most computers. If not, you'll have to enter your BIOS and make sure that thumb drives are bootable. And you should be able to boot up now. When you go in, you have to figure you got to log in, set up a PIN, stuff like that. But that's handy, so anything you do on your thumb drive is saved. So it's a good idea to set all of that up with your Microsoft account. So 
if you know what I mean. Pretty cool. So give that a try, rebooter, see how it works for you. Let us know how you make out. Pretty easy to do. This is the worst part right here. Video took me five minutes to show you how to do it. You're now got another hour to sit there and wait. So there you go. Go get a cup of coffee. Piece of cake. All right, you guys know the drill, right? Bottom right-hand corner, you click subscribe. Somewhere around there is a like. Go ahead and click that if, you, if we helped you out. And we appreciate you watching. See ya.